Have you ever had a dream? I had a dream. A dream to have a froggy chair army. Now, if you don't know what a froggy chair is and you're only here because of the crochet part, let me explain. Froggy chair is the only thing you will ever need in your entire life. Froggy chairs are a furniture item from Animal Crossing, the game series, and arguably one of mankind's greatest inventions. While I do have a bunch of froggy chairs in my actual game, sometimes, you just need more. So today I'm gonna put the only crafting skill that I have that could possibly apply to this video to the test and I'm gonna see how many froggy chairs I can crochet in one day. It could be one or it could be a small army. And if it is a small army, then you better prepare yourself because I will lead my froggy chair army into battle. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want me to lead my froggy chair army into battle. And also don't forget to check out my merch shop down below for amazing merch. But anyways, let's get on to the challenge and see how many froggy chairs I can can make. So in terms of yarn, I just kind of want to use up what I already have. I don't really want to go buy anything new. And I do have a lot of green yarn anyways. I have these three shades and I even have another shade. So I'm thinking that for froggy chair purposes, this color combination, Pepper is crying at my door. This color combination is going to work the best for us with this being like the main body of the froggy chair and this being like the little seat part. So I think we're going to go with that. They're like very messy, so don't mind it. Also don't mind my hair still being a little bit wet from my shower if it looks a little stringy. It's like mostly dry, but we still got some wet stringy bits down here. Let's get into crocheting our first froggy chair. I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook for these froggy chairs since I am using a worsted weight yarn and I decided to make each piece in order as they are on the pattern. Oh yeah, did I, did I mention I was using a pattern? I am using this free pattern from momorave.com and it's honestly a fantastic pattern. If you would like to make these froggy chairs as well, you can check it out. All the pieces are perfect, the construction, everything, and it comes out just like this adorable little size. So I'll be linking it down below for you. If you would like to make one, you can go ahead and check out their website and they have some other free patterns as well that are super cute, so check them out. And I would also highly suggest if you're able to buy them a coffee, they have like a little Kofi on their page just to support them if you found their patterns helpful. I'm super grateful that the pattern exists because I'm not sure if I would have been able to freehand a froggy chair on my own, you know? <laughs> After dealing with some yarn tangles, I was continuing to make the backrest, which is kind of like a long rectangle that we fold in half to give it a little bit more support. At this point, I had no idea how many froggy chairs I would be able to finish that day. I was going to try and time myself for this first froggy chair and see how long that took me and then hope that that would give me a better gauge on like the froggy chair timeline or the FCT. And some backstory on my crochet hobby for those of you who don't know, I've been crocheting since I was 15 and I started doing it because I was bored one day at my grandma's house and she gave me this little crochet kit just for something to do and she used to knit, not crochet, but her sister, my great aunt, crochet and she also helped me out and gave me a bunch of like hooks and supplies as well and then I just learned everything like the stitches and everything off of YouTube videos so thank you professor YouTube so here's the finished rectangle with all of the rows done I'm just gonna fold it in half like this and sew all of the sides together so yeah, I've been doing this for a while, but I've definitely had way less time for it since starting YouTube. So now I don't really get around to it as much, but I do like to make videos on occasion that feature a crochet project in them, whether it be a vlog or a whole dedicated video, because it kind of forces me to crochet something and I don't feel like as guilty about it because it's technically for work for a video. Next, I moved on to the eye thingies. It's not technically the eyeballs, but like the eyeball part of the actual chair. I think you know what I mean? These were a little finicky because it was only four single crochets in a loop and that makes it a little bit like tight and squeaky to work with. And I also discovered a slight bump in the road. I definitely am a lot slower when I'm crocheting, when I'm wearing like long nails. Um, they just kind of get in the way and it makes me like have to like grip the crochet differently so it's a little bit of a roadblock i guess 
but we're gonna we're gonna keep on trucking. Next, I just had to make the two other eyeball thingies, so I quickly got that done and moved on to making two bigger circles for the seat. We have to make two so that we can sew them together and make kind of a thicker seat for our chair. So I finished one, then two, and then moved on to sewing them together. A lot of people hate the sewing or weaving part of crocheting, and honestly, I can understand both sides. I think it can be really relaxing to do the same repetitive movement, like for the circle thingy, it's pretty straightforward. I can be pretty chill, but sewing on things like arms and legs and other extremities for plushies and stuff like that can be a little tricky, so I do understand the hesitation or frustration. After all my sewing, my circle was done and I was well on my way to finishing the first froggy chair. Okay, so now I'm on to the cushion in the other green color and it's been about an hour. It's been like 50 minutes and I have the backrest, the seat, the eyes. Then we still have four legs. If they're gonna take me about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes to make, I'm not sure how many I'm gonna be able to make today. I honestly thought it would be a lot quicker. I really like this green color. I kind of want to do a froggy chair in this color, maybe with a white seat instead. I think that this one might end up being a little bit too dark anyways. Okay, that's looking a little more vibrant. When I was recording it earlier, it was looking so dull and I was like, oh no, everybody's gonna think this froggy chair looks so dull, but it was just my camera and the lighting. I will finish up this seat and then I will see you back around for the legs. Like I said, I was just working on the seat cushion thingy, which was pretty quick since it's just a small flat circle. And with all my squishmallows staring at me, judging me, and potentially plotting to kill me, I moved on to the legs, making four of them, of course, and getting really excited that I was almost to the finish line of our very first froggy chair. All of the pieces are finished. So now all we have left is assembly and then our first froggy chair will be complete. Here, I'm just doing some more sewing just sewing the seat cushion to the seats and every time I look at this clip honestly I think for a split second that I'm making a turtle I don't know why I think the color combo just screams like turtle vibes to me for some reason then I'm sewing the eyeball thingies to the backrest this part is pretty interesting since they kind of like hang off of the backrest so I have to make sure that they're extra secure and don't like flop around everywhere so I finished that felt pretty accomplished and then made this absolute disastrous mess while trying to sew the the seat onto the backrest. Yeah, that wasn't fun. <laughs> Anyways, once I figured that out, then I was able to sew the backrest and the seat together. This part is the part that I wing the most. Like there's not really clear stitches for you to sew into for these parts. So I kind of just stick my needle in there and just hope for the best, honestly. If it's secure, then it's secure. This is coming together. <laughs> I think I got the shape oh, pretty okay. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's something. Then just the legs were left. I sewed them on one by one, simply hoping and praying that they were even until they were all finished. And we had a nearly complete froggy chair and I was feeling pretty good about it, except for one thing. I think I did mess up. I think I left out a round in all of the legs. So the legs are like a little bit short. And this did take me two hours from crocheting everything to sewing it all together. I started at around 1 p.m. and I finished at around three so yeah i genuinely don't know how many we're actually gonna be able to make today but now onto the face hopefully i have some supplies for it in my closet so i did not have supplies in my closet i needed red and dark blue felt which i thought i had i used to have a small hoard of multiple colors of felt everywhere in my closet but apparently i got rid of that so we had to make something work here all i had were these felt heart buttons that i got forever ago at joann's and since this was literally my only source of red fabrics felt I decided to sacrifice them. I tried my best to make a froggy chair shaped mouth out of these but my first one turned out a little uh, questionable. <laughs> While I was debating whether I should go to the craft store and waste time to get felt I decided to crochet some tiny eyes using blue yarn and got to work attaching those instead. I just used hot glue to attach them since it's quick and easy and I needed to save as much time as possible and that's when I realized I may have made them too big. <laughs> Mouth attempt number two was better, but still slightly cursed, so instead of wasting the last heart that I had, I just glued it on. Here is how it came out, and instead of me being negative, I'm just gonna say that he has character, <laughs> and he potentially may or may not be my sleep paralysis demon. So I'm taking a quick break to have a little snack. I have a go-gurt, and I also have some 
popcorn, which I've already eaten half of, but I quickly tried to make some more mouths for future froggy chairs, and I think I made some better mouths. I made two of these, so we're probably good to go for future ones for the face. And then I was thinking instead for the eyes, instead of crocheting little circles, I was thinking of just trying to do like a little knot with the little oh my goodness I don't have any more pieces I was thinking I could just do like a knot I forget what it's called like the embroidery knot but just like a big knot instead just to make like a big eyeball but like smaller than these because these are too big we're also not doing very good on time it's already 4 21 and probably by the time I finish eating all this it'll be 4 30 so that's not really that good like I woke up at 10 today and I didn't really get started until 1 and then now it's 4 so seriously doubting how much we're gonna get done but i'm potentially thinking for the next round i might try to crochet two froggy chairs at the same time and then sew them all together instead of crocheting one sewing one crocheting one sewing one if that makes sense so yeah so that's exactly what i continue to do here i am sewing together another backrest which i decided to make in that lighter green color instead of the same dark green as the first one crocheting so many little circles for the eye thingies and snipping and sewing my way through the yarn and all that good stuff something that i will occasionally do is make slight adjustments to patterns if i want to try something different or experiment a little bit and what i did with this froggy chair in particular is i attempted to make the seat cushion and the seat part all one piece. So instead of making three pieces total for the seat, including the cushion, I only have to make two. For this, I just used the cushion cover color while making the seat part, and I made it all one flat piece, as you can see here. So it'll be flat instead of 3D like the first chair. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Quick little pause because we actually have to go run an errand and pick up dinner um, so that I just have more time to crochet and I don't have to worry about cooking. So I'm going to bring this with me and we're going to work on it in the car. So at least we get a little change of scenery. But yeah, I'll see you in the car. So grabbing all my trusty supplies from my disaster of a desk, I threw everything in a tote bag and we headed out the door. I've crocheted in the car before and honestly, it can be really nice if you have a simple flat project that you can get away with only half paying attention to, like a blanket or something like that. However, small finicky pieces like this that you have to pay attention to and look closely at, yeah, these are simply a recipe for car sickness. This was not really a good idea. I couldn't even crochet on the way back home. Like I just needed a break by the time we were heading back. So I did take a mini break on the way back, but we also stopped and picked up a glorious Taco Bell dinner on the way home. So I still think it was worth me going around and trying to work on things in the car and getting a little bit car sick, but thankfully I was fine once we got home so I could actually eat my tacos. I would actually be upset if I got way too car sick to even eat my Taco Bell, then I would have been mad, but it was okay. It took us a little bit longer than we thought to pick up all the food and stuff, and now I've got to eat. It's already almost seven, so I don't know how we're looking in terms of how many froggy chairs that I'm gonna get to make. I was at least a little productive in the car. I did make one little circle and the like backrest as well, so. It's kind of curling a little bit, but yeah, I did make those two pieces, so I'm still trying to make parts for two froggy chairs, but yeah, I'm gonna eat, then we'll get back to it. Okay, I'm finally back in my office <laughs> and working on stuff again between watching TV and then me and my boyfriend we were talking about stuff for a while, like time kind of slipped away from me, and now it's 8.20 p.m., so I am at least gonna do three froggy chairs, which is still pretty decent. I don't want to just show you the same like stuff over and over of me like, oh my goodness, this is me crocheting this piece w once again, you know, like, I don't know how much I'm going to put in here, but I think regardless, I will just catch you when I am probably assembling the next froggy chair because I mean, you're, you already saw me make all the pieces before anyway, I'm just doing the same thing over and over. So all I have left to do is make another one of these for one of the froggy chairs and then eight legs. I'm gonna put on some YouTube videos and just go to town and I also need to charge my phone a little bit. So yeah, I'll catch you when I'm like assembling the next one. Okay, bye, see, see you. Go, go drink some water, okay? Or, or something. I don't know. I hope you did drink some water, besties, or at least you do once you're done watching this video. Go get some water and also stretch. I definitely had to do a lot of hand stretching after this day and all the crocheting I did, especially when you're making little small finicky pieces like this. Uh, it kind of cramps your hands up a little bit, so if you're gonna make little crochet plushies like this, definitely do some stretches. Anyway, I'm just sewing together my froggy chair, working on the eye thingies first, and then the seat. Same stuff you've been seeing me do. 
and also please don't mind how messy my desk is. Honestly, it's, it's literally always a disaster, so this is just my reality, TBH. Even though I have plenty of storage around me, I just don't put things in the storage, so that's fun. So for this next set of eyes, instead of doing those super huge creepy eyes, I tried to do little French knots instead by just taking a strand of blue and coming up through the back of the eye thingy. Then you kind of twist the yarn around the needle a few times and put the needle back through just slightly next to where you put it in. I struggled to find that placement a little bit, but ultimately figured it out. And of course, I just did the same thing to the other side. I used hot glue for the mouth again, and I think this mouth came out so much better. And this face is definitely not as cursed as the first first one, so that's an improvement. I think out of all the ones I made, this one is my favorite. I just wish I had a better color for the chair cushion, but compared to the first one, I think I made a lot of improvements, which I am very happy about. It is midnight, and I thought I would be able to go a little bit longer, maybe until like one or two, but your girl is tired. I have had a day today of just pure crochet and pure froggy chairs, so I ended up sewing the last two together, and I didn't really film any of me sewing this last one because I feel like you've seen the footage already but here's how he turned out <laughs> he is a little bit questionable um I feel like I got really lazy with the legs so he's kind of like crooked and he doesn't really stand up straight I tried a different technique for the eyes I feel like these are the best eyes um compared to the other one these are just a little bit too small so for this one I feel like they came out the perfect length but his body feels a little bit long and I didn't have like a pale green, so I ended up using white. Um, so there's aspects of all of them that I like. Um, maybe not this one. <laughs> but they all have like their little charm. So let me turn you around and give you another look at them. So here they are in order of their creation. First we have the dark green one with the very cursed eyes. He's seen it all. And I do like the contrast of the two different greens on this one. Then we have the second froggy chair. I feel like the construction of this one overall was really good. Um, I just think the eyes came out just a teensy bit too small. And this um, little like shade of green was kind of questionable. I kind of wish I just did white instead. But I do like that I sewed it into this part instead of having it be like 3D like this. I just like... I just like the look of that better. Now he won't stand. Okay, come on, sir. Please. Sir! So there's that one. And then this one, I do like the contrast of the white. Again, I didn't really have like a pale, pale green. Um, and I feel like the eyes came out a little bit better. Those are probably the best eyes. These were too big. These were too small. These were just right. And the mouth is also pretty good. I really had to finagle him to like fix the legs. But like if I just kind of squeeze them all together like that, then he is kind of... Cr Actually, it's not that bad. I don't know why this chair pad came out so much bigger compared to this one. I think this yarn was a little bit thicker. I guess the answer to the question, how many froggy chairs can I crochet in one day is three. And considering that they each take me about two hours... That's six hours of work, which is pretty good. I mean, I had other stuff I had to do today too, so the fact that I managed to fit in six hours of crocheting and sewing and all that kind of fun stuff, cutting out felt, everything like that, I feel like that's pretty good and I'm proud of myself. I thought I was gonna have a small army, but it's okay. I'm happy with this too. So I hope you liked this little crafty video. Let me know if you want to see more crochet related videos, maybe a Squishmallow related crochet video or more Animal Crossing ones. Let me know down in the comments below. And again, I'll link the pattern that I used down below. Please consider tipping the artist that made it because this was honestly, this is such a good pattern. Like, it was really easy and I feel like I definitely couldn't have done this video without that pattern. Anyways, I'm gonna go take off these eyelashes that are already coming off. <laughs> That's how you know that it's probably time for bed. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.